Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. Today we have a story from a sister called Mercy. In this captivating story, Mercy shares with us the kind of life she and her father has been living, which as a result, causing problems in her life. The father does not want her to be with any other guy. Talk less of getting marrying him. As usual, as part of our policy, I won't mention real name, so I've edited the names, locations to hide the identity. Without wasting much of your time, let's go and listen to the story. Hello brother, my name is Mercy, and I live here in Ghana. I am a nursing training graduate and works as a nurse. I live here with my family. I have my younger brother as my only sibling. And we are all here with my mother and father. But my father, he sometimes travels outside the country for pastoral work. I will say that I knew my home to be a very decent, very humble and morally upright home when I was growing up. But all that was cut short for me when my father started sleeping with me. The man that I felt and believed to be a symbol of a perfect father, a husband and above all a servant of the Most High started this act with me. It started when I was about 10 years old. This very act has been going on for almost my entire life. I am now 29 years old. One will say that, but you're old enough to say you won't do it and you can't do anything about it. That is where the problem is. My father is so manipulative to the extent that no one will ever believe anything you say when you want to stop this act. What I mean is, when I tell him that I can't continue with it. He will start a serious fight with me and then extend the fight to my mother. He then will always make them think I don't respect and that is taking me out of his children. So, my mother and sometimes, my uncle will end up begging on my behalf. It is always mercy has done this, mercy has done that. Anytime, I decide to stop with him. And I was also in school, so when he says that he will no longer take care of me, then I will have no choice than to go back to this very act I want to stop with him. I remember it happened sometime that he said he can no longer entertain me in his house. And so, he gave my mother money to rent for me. For he does not want to see me in his house. My uncle came in and apologized but then he didn't agree to me being in his house. So, I ended up having a single room to myself out of his house. Little did I know that, it was a plan for him to be able to come and do that act with me so one would see us accidentally. Now when I was back in my father's house, this whole thing started this way. When I returned home from school, with maybe my mother in the kitchen, he will call me into the bedroom and would be like remove your top and let me see something. When I pull my top, he will be fondling my breast saying, my daughter Mercy, in fact you're growing into a nice young lady. Don't give this beautiful breast to any man out there without me stamping it before. All this while, he will be fondling and kissing me on my breast. So, he will do it for about some time and ask me to return to do my chores. He will always tell me not tell anyone about what he calls me into the room to do. Because, he is just looking out for my safety. He did this thing for some time and then, one day he said that, he wanted to see how my private part has grown into. I just opened it to him with thinking twice. He will be touching my private part and be fondling my breast as well. This act went on for a long time till I was about 16 years. Please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Thank you and let's get back to the story. He did this thing for some time and then, one day he said that, he wanted to see how my private part has grown into. I just opened it to him with thinking twice. He will be touching my private part and be fondling my breast as well. This act went on for a long time till I was about 16 years. One day, he took me and my brother out after he had returned from his pastoral duties outside the country. When we returned home, he told my mother that he was going to meet someone for a discussion. So, he asked me to accompany him. When he finished his meeting with the man we went to meet. On our way back to the house, 
He parked the car in some dark place and asked me to go to the back seat, which I did. In about some few minutes, he came to the back seat and asked me to show him my private part. I asked why and he said he wants to inspect something. I never thought he was about to sleep with me, because we were outside. I did just as he asked and he started rubbing his fingers on my private part. Before I knew, my father was kissing me and he pulled me on top of him. He had sex with me that night. It was about 8 p.m. Honestly the pain I went through that day. He asked me to clean myself and we went home. I couldn't control the pains that I was experiencing. He was constantly checking on me in my room that evening and telling me not speak a word to anyone. The next day, he brought some medicine to me and asked that I take them. I realized after taking the medicine, the pains came down and I was a bit okay. So in about days of taking the medicine, I was relief of the pains. One thing I noticed was, my father will always want to have his way with me whenever we return from church. I didn't understand this very unusual thing. If not for anything, Sundays are supposed to be a holy day. He continued this with me till I couldn't handle his desires anymore. I started wondering whether my mother was not giving him enough of that or what. This was when I started telling him I cannot continue doing it. And anytime I will say that he will make it look like I am a bad daughter. Turning everyone against me, including my mother. It was paining me how this thing was happening right under her nose. So one day I gathered courage and told my mother about what has been happening between me and my father. My mother never believed anything I told her. She said, the devil was using me to tarnish the image of my father and spoil the very good work he is doing for the Lord. She warned me never to bring this issue up again ever in my life. This was someone I wanted to confide in and tell her my problems. What my father has been taking me through. She never even gave me a dog chance that it could be true. So, I kept it to myself till it happened that he asked me to leave his house. So, when I was in the nursing school, any guy that would propose to me, I didn't feel anything for him. And when I even accept your proposal, I will never enjoy sex with you. This ruined all my relationships. And even when he finds out that I am seeing someone, he will be warning me that he will stop taking care of me if I don't stop whatever it is that is between me and the person. When you ask why he is angry with me, all he will tell you is that I've insulted him on phone. Something I've never done before. This has been my life all this while, till I completed school and met this guy that I wanted to settle down with. You won't believe what my father did to this guy. And also, the problem that I am facing right now. I will leave you here. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. Before I say anything, if you are a believer of the Holy Bible and you're here, kindly read Leviticus chapter 18 verse 6 going. And it will explain how strong this act is an abomination in the sight of the Lord. As a people of African descent, there is nothing that should make you have feelings towards your own blood. As it is commanded in the Holy Scriptures in Leviticus 18 verse 6 going. Sometime, you wonder the kind of pastors we have in our societies today. The kind of things you hear them do is beyond the human thinking. People of today, we always see things to be normal in our sight and forget if the Lord God that created us is pleased with our actions. Let us learn to walk and act in the way of the Lord. As I always say, we are not here to race with ourselves. Therefore, do the little you can and ask your Creator to bless your handwork. Please let's be mindful of the choices that we make. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, 